you. So on from Sir 39, the troops to 29, the spider. In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful, Think men that when they say we believe, they shall be let alone and not be put to proof. We put to proof those who lived before them, for God will surely take knowledge of those who are sincere, and will certainly take knowledge of the liars they take who work. Think they who work evil that they should escape us. Ah, uh, ill do they judge to him who hopeth to meet God. The set time of God will surely come. The hearer, the knower, he who so maketh efforts for the faith, maketh them for his own good only. Verily, God is rich enough to dispense with all creatures. And as to those who have believed and done the things that are right, their evil deeds will surely blot out from them, and according to the be their best actions, we will surely reward them. So don't worry about your past if you if you're turning around, it will get right. More, moreover, we have enjoined on man to show kindness to parents, but if they strive with thee that thou join that with me of which thou hast no knowledge, obey them not. To me do you return, then, then I will tell you of your doings, and those who shall have believed and done the things that are right, we will surely give them an entering and in among the just. But some men say, we believe in God. Yet when they meet with sufferings in the cause of God, they regard trouble from man as chastisement from God. Yet the success come from thy Lord, and they are sure to say, We were on your side. Doth not God well know what is in the breast of creatures? Yes, and God well knoweth those who believe, and he well knoweth the hypocrites. The unbelievers say to the faithful, Follow ye our way, and we will surely bear your sins, but aught of their sins will they bear. Verily, they are liars, but aught of their sins they will bear. Verily, they are liars, but their own burdens and burdens besides their own burdens shall they certainly bear. An inquisition shall be made of them on the day of resurrection as to their false devices. Of old we sent Noah to his people a thousand years, say fifty, did he tarry among them, and the flood overtook them in their wrongdoings. So he was not an immortal. Because, you know, they would speak of the immortal as the person who lived a thousand years. So he lived a lifetime less than a immortal. Taken literally or metaphorically, that's sort of the same thing. And the flood overtook them in their wrongful doings. But we rescued him and those who were in the vessel, and made it a sign unto all men. And Abraham, when he said to his people, Worship God and fear him, and this will be best for you, if ye have knowledge. Ye only worship idols besides God, and are the authors of a lie. Those whom ye worship besides God, beside God can give you no supplies. Seek then your supplies from God, and serve him, and give him thanks. 
to him shall ye return suppose that ye treat me as a liar nations before you have treated god's messenger as a liar but open preaching is his only duty see they not how god bringeth forth creation see they not how god bringeth forth creation and then causeth it to return again this truly is easy for god say go through the earth and see how he hath brought forth created beings hereafter with a second birth will god cause them to be born again for god is almighty and we're not talking reincarnation here we're talking about the hereafter whom he pleaseth will he chastise and on whom he will he pleaseth will he have mercy and to him shall ye all be taken back and ye shall not invalidate his power either in the earth are in the heaven and save god ye shall have neither patron nor helper as for those who believe not in the signs of god or that they shall ever meet him these of thy mercy sh these these of my mercy shall despair, and these doth a grievous chastisement await. And the only answer of his people was to say, Slay him, or burn him. But the fire, but from the fire, did God save him? Verily, here are our signs to those who believe. And Abraham said, All the truth. Ye have taken idols along with God as your bond of union in this life present. But on the day of resurrection, some of you shall deny the others, and some of you shall curse the others, and your abode shall be the fire, and ye shall have none to help. But Lot believed on him, and said, I betake me to my lord, for he truly is the mighty, the wise, and we bestowed on him Isaac and Jacob and place well, and we bestowed on him Isaac and Jacob and placed the gift of prophecy and the scripture among his posterity. And we gave him his reward in this world, and in the next he shall be among the just. We also sent Lot when he said to his people, Proceed ye to a filthiness in which no people of the world hath ever gone before you. Proceed ye even to men. Attack ye them on the highway, and proceed ye to the crime, to the crime in your assemblies. But the only answer of his people was to say, Bring God's chastisement upon us, if thou art a man of truth. He cried, My Lord, help me against these polluted people. And when our messengers came to Abraham, and, oh, I'll stop here for a second. So remember, the greater crime, obviously, is they attack people. <laughs> and assemblies can also refer to political crime. As far as political leaders, all public behavior is political, but, you know, I mean, so, think of how things in our nation, all three of those things, all three of those things are out of control. Bring God's chastisement upon us, if thou art a man of truth, he cried, O my Lord, help me against these polluted people. And when our messengers came to Abraham with the tidings of his son, they said, Of a truth, we will destroy the indwellers of the city, for its indwellers are evildoers. He said, Lot is therein. He said, Lot is therein. They said, We know full well who therein is. 
Him and his family will we save, except his wife. She will be of those who linger. And when our messengers came to Lot, he was troubled for them, and his arm was too weak to protect them. And they said, Fear not, and distress not thyself. For thee and thy family will we save, except thy wife. She will be of those who linger. We will surely bring down upon the dwellers in this city vengeance from heaven for the excesses they have committed, and in what we left of it is a clear sign to men of understanding and to Maddie, and we sent the brother Shoaib, and he said, O oh, my people, worship God, and expect the latter day, and enact not in the land deeds of harmful excess, but they treated him as an imposture, so an earthquake assaulted, assailed them, and at the morn they were found prostrate and dead in their dwellings, and we destroyed Odd and Thamoud. Already is this made plain to you in the ruins of their dwellings. For Satan had made their own works fair seeming to them and drew them from the right path, keen-sighted though they were. And Kor, and Arun, and Pharaoh, and Haman, chief scribe, king, chief priest, with proofs of it, with, with, with proofs of his mission did Moses come to them, and they behaved proudly in, on the earth, but us they could not outstrip, for every one of them did we seize in on his sin. Against some of them did we send a stone-charged win. Some of them did the terrible cry of Gabriel surprise. For some of them we cleave the earth, and some of them we drowned. And it was not God who would deal wrongly by them, but they wronged themselves. The likeness for those who take to themselves guardians instead of God is the likeness of a spider who buildeth her house, a verily the frailest of all houses. Surely, but the frailest of all houses, surely is the house of a spider, but they know, did they but know this? The spider is a very interesting sign. How very strong its strings are, but how flimsy its home is made of those strings. But it's good for catching bugs. God truly knoweth all that they call on besides him, and he is the mighty, the wise, the similitudes do we set forth to men, and none understand them except the wise. God hath created the heavens and the earth for a serious end, verily, and this is a sign to those who believe. Recite the portions of the book which have been revealed to thee, and discharge the duty of prayer, for prayer restraineth from the filthy and the blameworthy, and the gravest duty is the remembrance of God, and God knoweth what ye do, dispute not, unless in kin kindly sort with the people of the book, say with such of them as have d dealt wrongfully, with you dispute dispute not unless in kindly sort with the people of the book save with such of them as have dealt wrongfully with you and say ye we believe in what hath been sent down to us and hath been down sent down to you our god and your god is one and to him are we self-surrendered O oh, Muslim, or Muslim, uh, I can check the 
form later. And thus have we sent down the book to thee, and they to whom we have given the book believe in it. You know, the book of the Quran, and, you know, the Torah. You know, Torah. Believe in it. And of these, there are those who believe in it, and none save the infidels reject our signs. Thou didst not recite any book before it. With that right hand of thine did thou didst not transcribe one, else might they who treat it as a vain thing have justly doubted. But it is a clear sign in the heart of these whom the knowledge hath reached, none except the wicked reject our signs, and no contemporary thought that Muhammad wrote the Quran, much less people claim that he authored it, but he couldn't even write it. But it is a clear sign in the hearts of those whom the knowledge hath reached, None except the wicked reject our signs, and they say, Unless a sign be sent down to him from his Lord. Say, signs are in the power of God alone. I am only a plain spoken warner. Is it not enough for them that we have sent down to thee the book and be recited to them? In this verily is a mercy and a warning to those who believe. Say, God is witness enough between me and you. He knoweth all that is in the heavens and the earth. And they who believe in vain things and disbelieve in God, these shall be the lost ones. They will challenge thee to hasten the punishment. But had there not been a season fixed for it, that punish had already come to them, but it shall overtake them, suddenly when they look not for it. They will challenge thee to hasten the punishment, but verily hell shall be round about the infidels. One day the punishment shall... Hell shall be round about the infidels. You know, misbelievers. Those who cover the truth. One day the punishment shall wrap them around, both from above them and from beneath their feet, and God will say, Taste ye your own doings, ye, O oh, my servants, who have believed. Mass truly is my earth, me therefore, yea, worship me. Every soul shall taste of death, then to us shall ye return. And those who shall have believed in wrought righteousness, will we lodge in the gardens with palaces, beneath which the rivers flow, forever shall they abide therein. How goodly the reward of those who labor, who patiently endure and put their trust in their Lord. How many animals are there which provide not their own food? God feedeth them and you, he heareth knoweth all things if thou ask them who hath created the heavens and the earth and hath imposed laws on the sun and on the moon they will certainly say god how then can they devise lies god lavisheth supplies on such of his servants as he pleaseth or giveth to them by measure and god knoweth all things if thou ask them who sendeth rain from heaven and by it quicken the earth after it had been dead they will certainly answer god say praise be to god yet most of them do not understand this present life is no other than a pastime and it is sport but truly the future mansion is life indeed one that may know this Lo, when they embark on a shipboard, they call upon God, vowing him sincere worship. But when he bringeth them safe to land, behold, they join partners with 
him in our revelation they believe not yet take their fill of good things but in the end they shall know their folly do they not see that we have established a safe precinct while all around them men are being spoiled will they then believe in vain miles and not own the goodness of god but who acteth more wrongly than he who deviseth a lie against god or calls the truth when it hath come to him i is there not an abode for the infidels in hell and whoso maketh efforts for us in our ways will we guide them for our God is assuredly with those who do righteous deeds.